Hi guys, my name is TJ Mori, aka Boy Director, and you're watching my cover on Accelerate TV. TJ Mori is creative, TJ Mori is, is different, TJ Mori is lifestyle. how I came about the name Boy Director. Um, I used to direct when I was very, very young. Like I started directing when I was like 16 or 17. So my friends then used to be like Boy Director. To get, but not like music videos and all of that. I used to direct stage plays and they're in church and all of that. So it was always fun when my friends would be like, hey, Boy Director, because I was quite young. So since then the name stuck and I'm here today as boy director. <laughs> My background, yeah. Um, I mean, every African parent has this touch of um, religion or spirituality in them. So my parents were very, very um, active members in church. So I used to lead the drama team in church from my children's department. So that was where it all started. From there, I, I got the understanding of storytelling and all of that. So I just picked it up because I felt like I could do it effortlessly. Again. Um, the first time I ever picked up a camera should be in 2015. Yeah, that was when I was like, okay, I want to start making music videos. It was because I started working for a media house as a writer, then I just found myself around cameras. Then I was like, okay, no knowledge is a waste. This is the best time for me to study the camera and probably have that skill. I just wanted to have it as part of the skills I have, but I fell in love with making visuals from there. Yeah. Uh, my least favorite experience actually came out to be like one of my favorite video. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it was tax skin. I think it was when I was, uh, we were trying to make Oxlade a way video and the whole COVID-19 thing. And we had plans not to shoot in Nigeria and then we could not get tickets, we could not travel. And then we were supposed to travel to Cape Verde, but we had to travel to Ghana because that was like the only border that was open at that time. And everything was just, we got to Ghana, I had to start rethinking the ideas because the whole view of video was supposed to be on an island they get so I had to start recreating on spot and all of that. It was so stressful and uncomfortable but it actually came out to be like one of my favorite videos you get. So um, I think that was like my yeah least favorite experience. But now I think it's my favorite because it's a lesson learned. Yeah. I feel like my life is as transparent as it is. I feel like my life is a lifestyle, so everything I do is what is out there, or most of the things I do is out there. I feel like right now I'm also trying to show the fashion side of me because um, I feel like it's a lifestyle. Uh, irrespective of the fact that I'm a director, I still try to make our time to look good or try to look good every time, even if I'm behind the camera. You get so. I feel like a lot of people have seen that angle of me, but I feel like I'm trying to move that to the next level too. And um, I don't think a lot of people know that I can, I think people know that I can play football a lot, but I don't know, some people still don't. But I used to play f active football when I was much more younger and I would like to see if I still get the opportunity to play football, I don't mind playing, because I have a lot of passion for soccer. Yep. My style, if I'm to describe my style in three words, I would say it's daring, it's wayward, and it's simple. It's not simple, it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> um, building my clientele was not so stressful because it was people seeing my stuff, people seeing my works, and reaching out to me to want to work with me. So. It wasn't like me reaching out to people and all of that. So it was just a gradual process from every video, from every mind-blowing video I drop, at least somebody wants to make a video. And from there, 
with the help of good communication skills and relationship, we get we've been able to have a good working relationship. We get so it wasn't so difficult. I mean, I shot my first major video in 2016, and since then it took like another two years to like 2000, early 2019 to be on this level. We get so. It's, it was just a gradual process and I was not rushing. I was taking one video at a time. So when the time was right, everybody came to me. For now, my life has been, has been about work, work, work. You get, so um, if I'm not writing, I'm editing or I'm on set shooting. But most times, once in a while, I go play football. And then when I come back, I probably just switch over my phone and just sleep. Uh, I've not actually had a proper vacation in a while. But my life basically, I've tried to make the, the work a lifestyle. So it does not feel like it's so much work sometimes, even though it's so much work. So like I live in it to get. So if I'm relaxing at home, I'm editing at the same time. Or I'm playing soccer. You get so. It's a lifestyle, so we are living and relaxing and working and doing everything at the same time. It's part of the work. Yes, I learned how to edit from YouTube. I just randomly woke up because the stress of getting an editor when I was starting was a lot. Because after I finished shooting and the budget was not so nice, and I had to go start paying editors and all of that, it was it was crazy because. When I started, I was shooting for very low, so most times, because the editor does not want to know your hustle, you have to pay them for their work, you get. So most times I have to put out like 70% of the money to go to the editor, so I was like, damn, I need to learn this thing. So the money I'm giving to the editor, if I invest it in sets or styling, the video is going to come out nicely. So I invested this money in making the video come out nicely and I used my own service to edit it. So I'm not paying for my own service. You get so those were like the reasons why I had to go and learn how to edit. Just to make my work, just to save the cost of paying an editor. But now now I can actually afford an editor and I have a couple boys that sometimes just come to help me cut and all of that. But I'm so used to editing my videos that if I'm shooting I have to edit for it to actually come to life. Like it's my videos comprises of my cinematography and my editing skills and my storytelling skills. So all these skills come together. That's what actually makes my final video. So anytime I'm not the one editing, it feels like that touch is not there again. So, but I have boys now that are, are doing fine. And very soon they're going to be on the same wavelength. And editing is going to be easy for everybody. Um, but I would love to say I can't do without anything, or I can't do without anything, but I honestly can't do without my phone, because <laughs> that's like my office. Okay, like I get my mails, contacts, calls, sometimes I even do my treatments on my phone, you get, so like, I used to do my research and all of that, so every day I need to be on my phone, so I don't think I can do without my phone. It's been a very busy year for me, yeah, and um, putting up a workshop is something that takes a lot, because the kind of workshop I'm trying to do is something that is going to be very, very impactful, not just a workshop that is going to see people come and go. I'm trying to, after the workshop, like the best students and all of that probably get mentorship from all of the biggest directors in Africa, you get. So it's something I'm taking my time and I'm trying to make sure that I do when the time is right. You get so uh, for now I'm just focused on trying to clear my decks and all of that. So when we have a little space and the sponsorship and all of that is right, we'll be out and we are going to inspire the people and ginger them to become great people. <laughs> Um, 
it's like it feels like a dream come true because I can't lie to you, take it or leave it. This is where every young videographer wanna be or the phase they want to pass through. You get uh you all started like a joke. Not like a joke, but like you all started like a dream. And I mean we are here and we are being celebrated. I feel like it's something that has really encouraged the younger generation and my people from the hood to also want to keep the hustle alive. Because <clears throat> I can remember back in 2015 when we were trying to make our first videos and all of that. It was looking funny and all of that. And now we are here with the people you, you see on TV when you're very young and, and you guys, and they're banking on you to make their next videos. It's a wonderful feeling. And I'm here today shooting my first cover. Um, it's something that is different because this is, I'm supposed to be behind the camera, but here I'm in front of the camera. That means that I carry something way more than just being behind the camera. And it's a wonderful feeling. I, I'm grateful. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is TJ Mori, aka Boy Director. You just watch my cover on Accelerate TV. To watch more content like this, subscribe. Boom. Perfect. Perfect.